best Number one and nothing less Lead me to my destiny I have waited patiently I have vision though I believe I know I can count on me So stand up for the champions For the champions Stand up, stand up, stand up For the champions, for the champions The success story of the 12th Nigeria Police Games, tagged Anambra 2020, has spread all over the nation and beyond. Tales continue to be told of the wonderful experiences of athletes and the police hierarchy and the amazing hospitality of Ndi Anambra, embellished by the embracing love of Ndi Ibu. <laughs> It was the first time the police games would be hosted in the Southeast Geopolitical Zone since its inception in 1945. Perhaps that informed the decision of the police hierarchy to stage the games this time in the Southeast Geopolitical Zone, but more assuredly in Anambra for obvious reasons. The Nigeria Police Force had a George Anambra state the safest and the most secure in the Federation due to the commitment and will of the governor, Chief Sir Willie Madhuabrochuku Obiano, to combat crime in the state and the effectiveness of his administration's policies to transform a state once notorious for crime and criminality to a safe haven for investors and a state where lives and property are secure. There was no doubt, therefore, that it would deliver a successful and peaceful police games. It was therefore with a sense of pride and fulfillment that the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Mohamed Adamu, invited Governor Obiano for the unveiling of the mascot for the 2020 police games. The unveiling, which took place at the force headquarters Louis Edet House, Abuja, marked the official confirmation that the Games will be hosted in Anambra State. It also launched the preparation for the Games into full gear. The 12th Nigeria Police Biennial Games will feature <coughs> over 20 events which are expected to present a great spectacle for the re realization and enjoyment of all our guests. I therefore see this opportunity to invite all and sundry to Anambra State to enjoy the games in us. This is the first time police games is being hosted in the Southeast as a whole, you know, and for 29 years uh, of uh, existence of Anambra State, nothing like that has happened. So it's a rare privilege and uh, we are good. I'm leading the command. I'm not delegating functions in this assignment. I want to make sure it's uh, properly done and uh, thoroughly things will be accomplished. 
an Ambra state led by His Excellency Chief Willie Obiano swung into action immediately. There was need to rehabilitate the few sporting centers in the state. New facilities needed to be put in place also. And when the hosting right was given to Anambra State, His Excellency took up the challenge. But, you know, everybody was like, where will you host it? Where are the facilities? And I keep telling them, when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. There was the issue of this hosting will be in one place. But because I've traveled, because I've gone to events, because I've visited arenas where this sports festival you know, took place, these events were never hosted in one place. In what appeared to be the wave of a magic wand, that Dr. Alex Ekweme Square, which hosted the opening and closing ceremonies of the game, transformed into a world-class sporting facility with the dedication of the State Sports Development Commission, led by Chief Tony Oli, and the support of the national and local organizing committees, facilities hitherto lacking in the state, were built and made ready for the games. The first time they arrived, and after going through an embarrassed state, <laughs> They were like, these guys are jokers. Where are they going to host us? But at last, when they arrived, they discovered that we were 80% ready for them. Like I keep telling them, every event they get to that point we will provide a facility. New basketball, volleyball, and handball courts emerge in Equeme Square. An Olympic-sized swimming pool with all the features befitting a world standard pool was also built in record time. With the benefit of foresight, the NYSC camp in Mbuku and Mwawolo, already completed by the Obiano administration, was prepared to host some indoor games as well as the prestigious Golden Tulip Aguli Lake Hotel Agolo. Rojene Stadium and Holiday Resort in Oba was rehabilitated to host field and track events while the Otuacha Stadium in Anambra East local government area was marked and prepared to host football games. Tansi College and Oma Event Center located just opposite the Dr. Alex Ekweme Square were also prepped up to host boxing, judo and other mixed martial arts and weightlifting events. On the Sunday, they wanted to start their game. Taekwondo, Karate, we, gave, we showed them the venue. It was time for boxing, we gave them the venue. On Wednesday, when it was time for track and field, Rojeni was there. We've already renovated it over time. On Tuesday, when football was ready to go, Otocha Township Stadium was there, ready to host them. And when hockey was ready, Tansi International was there. On Tuesday again, when basketball, volleyball said it is that all, we gave them the, the new courts that we prepared. And come Friday, the day the swimming was to take place. A night before then, we were still walking at the swimming pool. And by nine o'clock, when they were ready, the swimming pool was filled up with water. I had it from them that this is the only short-cut Olympic-sized swimming pool in the country right now. I didn't say it, they were the one telling me. And I was like, wow. I came in here not knowing what to expect, but knowing my state and how we get things done, no matter how tough, I knew they were going to pull through. The perfect example is the swimming pool. That three days before the uh, swimming event started, it was looking like it wasn't going to happen. But knowing the spirit of my people and the strength and the uh, sports-loving governor, we pulled through. The complementing contribution of Anambra-born transportation and logistic moguls like Chief Dr. Chidi Anyebu, Chisco Transport International, Chief Godwin Okeke of GEO Motors, who donated branded buses to the state government, aided the movement of athletes from their hotels to various game centers. It also added color to the fiesta and spoke volumes of the Igbo kindred spirit. I am impressed by what I've seen. Look at the number of industries, you know, local industries that are supporting the activities. You know, look at the number of entrepreneurship. You know, look at the level of development in Anambra State. I'm impressed. The governor is doing wonderfully well. And I feel that if other governors in this country are doing 10% of what Governor Biano has done, Nigeria would be a great nation. With preparation done, 
and athletes arriving in droves from the 12 zones of the Nigeria Police Force. Anambra State was set to host what many agreed, and even the Inspector General of Police, Al Haji Abubakar Adamu, attested to as the best police game so far. The opening ceremony, grand in every sense, was colorful and well attended. The Anambra turned out en masse to witness and support the games. A QM square was filled to the brim. Athletes from the zones dressed in colorful sports wears participated in parade to kick off the games. My Elsa, and they are having the navy blue color and they are also a very strong gun for contention. Addresses by President Muhammadu Buhari who was represented by the Minister of Police Affairs, Al-Haji Mohamed Megeri Dingyadi, and Governor Willy Obiano. On behalf of the people of Anambra State, I welcome you all to Oka, the only sweet city in Nigeria. With wide open arms, we welcome you to the birthplace of Indigo. There's a saying that if you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go far, you go together. That is what sports helps us to do. Nothing gives Nigeria a different ethnicity, a better sense of unity than watching the super egos win a trophy. At such times, our differences disappear. At such times, we are our brother's keeper. This is the unifying power of sports. Indeed, our beloved state has a great track record in sporting excellence. It is just so clear that the Church of Anambra State, as host of the 12th edition of the Nigerian Police Game, is a great one. In accepting to host this event, our expectations are considerably high. First, we are sending a loud signal to the world. We are saying to everybody, we have done our homework well. We have put our hands together. Come and become part of our legend success story. I believe the nation stands to benefit in no small measure from the physical and mental alertness that the game will offer over the 3,000 police officers drawn from across the country that will be competing at this event. I must appreciate the excellency, the executive governor of Anambra State, Chief William Odiano, for the hospitality and well reception which you have afforded to us since our arrival in New York City. I want to particularly thank you for the dance that you are making and moving your state forward. I also appreciate you for hosting the Nigerian police games and for all the support that you have extended to them. On this note, it is my honor to declare the 12th Nigeria Police Biannual Games Tag Anambara 2020 open. Hosting of flags and the lighting of the game's torch were the highlights of the opening ceremony. The Anambra were, however, wowed by the performances of the Anambra State Cultural Troupe, 
calisthenics by select Anambra Pupils. As the games progressed, it became clearer that Anambra was the perfect choice for the game. Orca, the capital city, and other centers for the game bubbled with social and economic activities. Businesses thrived as hotels, pubs, and restaurants experienced a surge in patronage. It's a, a big one, a very good one, you know, a very bold step that um, the government has taken. They impacted a lot in um, every business within. That is the reason why every nation struggles to host World Cup. Because they know, I, I think it's not something to uh, explain. The governor have done well about it. More striking, however, was the peaceful and merry ambience that subsisted throughout the period of the games and beyond. Anambra State always stood out as the safest state in Nigeria. But all who doubted the fact became convinced as the games progressed without any report of crime or social disturbance. Contrary to uh, the impression that uh, we have, most of us that are not residents here, that Anambra is not peaceful, it's not a peaceful place. Uh, you can't walk freely at night. I am uh, very happy to say that I stay in uh, Rojeni because that's where athletics is and I happen to also supervise athletics. I come for meetings by 9 p.m. at Golden Tulip and I leave back to uh, Rojeni as late as 12.30 a.m. alone and I arrive safely. I've done this back to back. No form of harassment whatsoever. Yes, ladies Anambra and gentlemen, is put your hands together for His very Excellency, loving people. And the they President are very, very and Commander in Chief. Dr. Willie Obiano, as the chief host, visited the different venues of the games from the boisterous basketball, volleyball, handball courts, and the Olympic standard swimming pool at the Equemes Square and on to the rings at NYSC Camp Mbuku and Omoawolo and Oma Event Center to share lean and muscular athletes engaged in boxing and other combat sports.
The governor moved to chair and encourage the athletes, those at Otosha Township Stadium, for the football games as the sports-loving governor ensured that all the visiting athletes, the police hierarchy and spectators enjoy the abounding hospitality and safety that Anambra State had to offer. One thing I keep saying is that sports is a unifying factor. You can see since uh, the arrival of the police uh, athletes in Anambra, uh, over 7,000 of them, there has been an influx of people to watch this game from all over. So let this uh, medal that you just won uh, unite all of us, you know, to go as a team, you know, so that it's not alone to go fast. Because if you go fast, you can fall by the wayside. But if you go as a team, you get support all the way. It is still the 12th biennial Nigeria Police Games, especially the closing ceremony which is taking place today. And I must tell you, it has been a week-long activity, wonderful activity that we had here in Anambra State. The closing ceremony was even more splendid. It was a magnificent ceremony such as never seen in the history of the police games as athletes who won in the various categories mounted the podium to receive medals and cups the joy and ovation from fellow athletes comrades and spectators showed evidently that all were winners it's a team of joy to my police it's not just because i'm from the east but it's just the truth, from the heart of my heart. We never had it like this before. And that shows that the governor is a very nice man, who knows what sports can bring to a state, who knows how to carry his people along through sports, who knows how to eradicate crime through sports. I mean, if we are going to be allowed to have police games here, maybe in the next two years, we will be, we will be so good. While the ceremony lasted, from the sunny afternoon to the cool evening, Anambra celebrated the success of the 12th Biennial Police Games. The nation was satisfied with the love, fairness and unity displayed by all who participated, athletes, officials and spectators alike. You know, people have a very wrong impression of Anambra State. But during these seven days in the state, they have seen that what we have been saying, that Anambra State is the safest in the federation, for real, is the truth on ground. True, they were also impressed about the speed with which Anambra State government was able to assemble several infrastructure that were aided this big competition to go on very smoothly. Um, and then of course, the enthusiasm, the fresh, the love displayed by Indian Ambra and Nigerian residents here to all the spectators and the visitors and all the sportsmen were fantastic. The police hierarchy were proud of the choice they made and the government and people of Anambra State were contented with providing their metal yet again. The closing parade by athletes drew resounding applause from the excited spectators, but it was nothing compared to the fireworks that lit up the evening sky and the razzmatazz that ensued as Governor Obiano led his wife, Dr. Ebele Chuku Obiano, and other dignitaries to the dance floor as flavor serenaded the night with high life tunes. <laughs>
The games may have ended, but the story lingers. The experience will live in the memory of all who participated. The athletes who came from every part of the Federation will not forget the hospitality of Ndianambra in a hurry. I'm highly impressed by what I've seen here today. It's a very wonderfully organized event. And um, I commend the efforts of the uh, governor of the state, um, uh, Dr. Willy you know, Biano, for accepting to host this event and for organizing such a wonderful event. And of course, kudos go to the Inspector General of Police too and the local organizing committee. Ndianambra, on their part, will always remember the friendship of the Nigeria Police Force, the officials, and all athletes who participated in the games. You can't mention words. Ndianambra are one of the most hospitable group of Nigerians I've ever known. Remember, this is my third uh, missionary journey here, and things have not changed. Most importantly, however, History will always remember the Obiano administration well for the enduring legacies it has built in sports as well as in safety and security. In all and all, we want to thank His Excellency for the big support he's giving sports. In short, he has been a satellite on sports and he's taking it to the next level. See the facilities he put in place within the period? Our assurance is that these things will produce champions in future. To the Nigeria police that gave Anambra State the hosting rights for the 2020 12th biannual game, it was a decision well timed and articulated.